Today is January 7th, and we've got a new download from VMware ready. So I'm going through the process of uh, updating my directions that were for 1A, and I revised the actual commands to type for 1B. So I'm doing the in-place upgrade. And the way we do that is generally with PuTTY, if you're on Windows. So I'm going to be opening up PuTTY, and that's step one. First, though, I just wanted to take a quick peek in vSphere Client to show you what we have and what we end up with. So here we go. Here's what we have. And here's a summary of the server. And there's the build number. A little hard to see right there. Um, see if we can get that build number to show. Guess not. All right. Um, anyhow, there it is right there, 280. I don't know. Uh, image profile is going to show different. That's right. Anyhow, there's my build number, but we're about to update it anyway. All right, so time to putty. Okay, the other thing to point out, if you have a client, vSphere Web Client or vSphere Client, you'd want to shut down any VMs. So uh, in my case, I only have one going. I'm actually planning on rebuilding. It doesn't really matter, but I'm going to shut that down. And you're supposed to put the server in maintenance mode. Now, if you're in a home lab, and you have no other VMs running, uh, it's just no big deal to skip the maintenance mode step. Basically, it's a way to make sure we're safe. So this VM is going to be turning off shortly. I'm going to go ahead and proceed and follow my directions to keep these supposedly simple directions moving right along. And that's what I would like to do, be to keep this concise and simple if possible. So we've got PuTTY open. We've talked about maintenance mode and shutting down VMs. And now we're going to be doing three commands, one line at a time. So we got that going. Right click and paste for PuTTY. All right, next. Okay, looks like a little coding issue. So let me get up my source here. Okay, the article has been fixed. Should be able to just refresh that. Yep, there's a word wrap issue. Okay. I would like a nice clean screenshot if possible. So let me just go ahead and take care of that. All right, now we're in good shape. Okay, this is a step that takes a little while. It's pulling down the code, applying it. And when it's done, we're supposed to change the firewall back again to how we found it. And here's a preview of what it's gonna look like. So we are hoping to see the update completed successfully. That would be a good sign at the top there. Okay, success. And we can type reboot there. What should happen soon would be putty will croak. And the local UI, the DC UI, should show a reboot underway. So vSphere client is now complaining saying that connection's been lost, that's expected. And now putty croaked as well. And now we're just waiting for the actual server to come on back up with the new code. So that's the gist of how this is done. I'll now speed up the rest of the video. Okay, the boot finished, and uh, you'll notice I didn't actually do the third command, kind of optional, and I'll kind of re redo the thing here. So you really only need two commands to do an upgrade. This third one is really optional. All right, so time to log in, and uh, you'll see the boot number right there again, 338, sorry, the build number, 3380124, right at the top. And you can see that right here, 3380124 at the top. And we're all set. In my case, I actually have uh, vCenter also. 
auto starting. So that's the end of this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. Thank you for watching and for visiting tinkertry.com.